we're going to check and see what version operating system iOS we're running on our iPhone or iPad. So click on settings. And you notice the little gear symbol? You're going to see that on other applications. It means settings. So we go to general. And then we just scroll down to version. And I'm running 5.1, the most current version. You can also go to software update, click on it, and it'll show if you're running the most recent software or not. Most iPhones and iPads started off needing to hook up to iTunes. So go ahead and hook your phone or pad to iTunes. That's your first choice. And um, it'll start synchronizing immediately. Once that's done, you want to take a look and you want to make sure that you had checked back up to this computer and then click apply. And now you're backed up. Now we'll go for the second choice. Why would you choose to hook up to iCloud rather than iTunes? Well, if you have a phone and you've never hooked it up to a computer and you don't want to, then the cloud's going to be much easier. So you're going to turn it on here, uh, scroll down, and um, click on Storage and Backup. And then you're going to click on iCloud Backup, and you're going to turn it on. You need to have iOS 5 or 5.1 in order to use the cloud. Now, if you have anything older than the iPhone 4 or the iPad 2, I have read online that some people have had problems with it. Um, that was last year, so maybe it's been solved. I've talked to other people who haven't had any problems. So it's up to you if you want to try upgrading your device. Um, the newer ones, there shouldn't be any problem at all, and the cloud is really great.